Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. I'm Hyler Tamberlane, and there's nothing in front of you for a reason. So I've had a couple people ask me both online and in person, where did you get those buildings that you always have hanging around in the back? Well, I thought we'd talk a little bit about terrain today. Those buildings, in fact, come from Tabletop Combat's Carnival game. Carnivale, I don't know. I don't speak Italian, and I'm not even going to attempt to. But they have sets online in their store. Mine is the Kickstarter version. I wanted to talk about that a little bit. You get eight buildings in a set, and they come flat like this. If you've seen any of the Infinity starter sets or their terrain sets, it's kind of a similar deal. So they're printed on all sides. There's nothing on the inside, though, and they're all packed flat. And you do have, mm, I want to say it's an even amount. These all came from the same setup. There's actually more. Now, they have two different versions. They have the nice clean version. And then there are also the more dilapidated versions where things are starting to fall apart. And I want to say, yeah, they get a lot more banged up and beat up looking. So it is nice to have those options. And inside each of the sets of buildings, you have a few one-story and two-story buildings available. But you also have included, as I dig through my bag of goodies, they include sets of bridges. Because obviously if you're playing in, where is it, Florence? The Carnival? Florence or Venice, I don't remember which one. I'm not good on Italian geography. But anyway, you're playing with all the canals in the water, so you're going to need bridges. So I have a lot of 3D ones in tabletop combat put out in MDF and I'm probably going to try to show some of those off in the future. But where would you use those bridges? Well, they also offer a set of interesting tiles. So the tiles are all, what is this, like 12 by 12 I believe? I'm like I have this in front of me and I could probably measure it. Yeah, it's 12 by 12. So anyway, on each tile you have water and then the sidewalk pavement and then on the back side is completely waterfied it's all water on the back so what i like to do when we play carnivale is we usually have these tiles out and then we throw all the mdf buildings and plazas and platforms on top of that so you can see there's bits of detritus floating around in the water and all of the tiles are actually a little bit different so you can really kind of mess around and get a tabletop set up to your liking. If you want to have one side, you want to use a few with just the plaza side and then throw in a couple water sides as well. That works. And then there's all kinds of stuff they make in MDF as well. Stairs, docks, levees, all that stuff. But I mean, for Carnival, I, the buildings are quite important because you really want to make sure that you have a lot of vertical movement so that your guys are able to climb up and down and over and on top of the buildings and into the water so you know you could set it up something like this and then that way you can have them leap from one building to the other and hopefully not fall in the water but you know who knows how it's going to go if you have crappy dice rolls like i do and then you drown in the water because you're jumping too far down so Hopefully that's been of a little bit of help. I will put a link down below if you're interested in checking out their website because they do have all kinds of interesting terrain available and they keep making more and more interesting stuff. So check it out and hopefully you'll find that useful. With that said, this is Hylar Tamberlane with Obscurities Miniatures and we'll see you all later. Bye-bye.